Greetings, and welcome back to The Secret Basement. So the theme for today's episode is going to be unique and gimmick combo covers. So to kind of explain what I mean by a cover that is unique or a gimmick, the focus isn't going to be on the artwork or the title or anything typical like that. The focus more so is going to be on the presentation, the design, and what makes the cover itself stand out from others. It could be something different in the physical appearance or something that adds some fun to it. Pretty much it's something that when you see it on the shelf, it makes you want to buy it. So I pulled out a few comics out of my collection that kind of show off what I mean by a cover that is unique or it's meant to be a gimmick. So we'll start with the first one. The comic that pretty much gave me the idea for this entire episode in the first place. So the first comic we have is Wolverine number 50. Now, off the start, it looks like a typical cover, right? It's nothing, you know, it's that. You can't see it when you hold it like this, but when you open it up, realize that the way it's designed pretty much the claws are like going straight through the folder on the cover which I think it's pretty awesome yeah yeah it's like the idea where it's like the claws went through the paper itself I think it's awesome but yeah this this is back from the 80s it's or early 90s oh it's 91 but um yeah, pretty much this is um another Weapon X story, as most of Wolverine story arcs are. It's always Weapon X or something about his past. Um, but yeah, it's a cool cover. So, so the next one we have is X-Force. Now, it says X-Men on there, but it's not X-Men. It's just the anniversary thing. Um, but this is X-Force, and you'll see in a minute. But what makes this cover stand out is it's not really a cover, but more so a poster. It's a four page long poster. Let's see if I can get it all the way in the camera. Um, yeah, so you can see it's X Force in there. Uh, let me see how far I can get it. Yeah, the camera is not... But, yeah. So pretty much, I think that's a cool cover. Yeah, this one I never read. I think I, I, got, I, think I, got, I got this out of the... Like the 25 cent bin. Um, so, another one that I like. It's not so much as a gimmick, but it is unique. So we have... Daredevil, Dead Man Without Fear. So anyways, from this angle, it looks like, you know, a normal cover. But when you put it against the light and you see it, the actual figure of Daredevil is made out in foil. Um, a reflective foil, but it's painted red. So I think it's awesome. And it also has, um, the, the letters and the characters have texture to it too. So they kind of like pop out even more. It's hard to see from this. Maybe there you can see it. But yeah, I like these a lot. Just the way, you know, they're presented. And I have all the, I have the entire series and they're all like this. They all have that shine and that texture that pops out. This one's really cool. Yeah, it looks like the Daredevil ones. So the next one we have is Robin. Now this is, in my opinion, this is a really good example of what I mean by a gimmick cover. So I'll pull it out. So this from Robin 3. Um, I forgot which Robin it is. It's, uh, there's so many of them. It's not Tim Drake and it's not... What was the other one? I forgot, but... Um, 
Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna show you, it's cool. So, you see here how it says, pull here slowly? So, let me see if I can get it on the camera. But, you pull it down. It, it creates that cool animation of them fighting. Oh, that's cool, and it has a Robin logo too, I didn't see that before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, this is this is a good example of a a really well done gimmick combo cover. It's something that when it stands out, you want to buy. It. You're like, oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I wish they did more like this today. But I'll put this aside. Okay, so this next one is an example of a gimmick cover that honestly isn't that great. It's so this is from, um, this is when Superman came back from the dead, when, after he died, but then he came back, of course. This is, um, Superman 500, The Adventures of Superman 500. When, um, so, I'm not going to show you what it is, because I don't want to ruin it. If I've seen how it works before, and it's kind of, uh, in my opinion, it's like a, like, it's, it's kind of dumb, but... <laughs> So pretty much this is um, a transparent cover. Um, so you're supposed to peel this off and the arm is separate from Superman. And when you pull it off, it's just Superman, but like kind of like has like a, at first I thought it was, it was a glow in the dark. Cause I was like, what's this? But then I, I stretched it up online and yeah, pretty much this is like a peel off thing and you can like, you know, put it back on and take it off and put it on different covers. It might, I, I, uh, I just think it was kind of dumb. I kind of get what they were trying to do, but it was just badly executed. So now we got some Robin issues. Or oh, some more Robin issues, I should say. But yeah, so these are kind of cool. So we can see this. Each of these has um their own like um it's like a holographic um character card. I, I think these are cool. I think I got these from the twenty five cent bin too. But yeah, I always like these. It looks cool in the camera. Yeah, this one's a Joker and it's the Batman signal. Oh, it's cool that it has the LA guns. This is old. That's how you know it's old. If it has LA guns in there. So, now we have some more Batman. So, this cover is kind of cool. This is similar to the first one, the Batman, the Wolverine one. So, so you know, when you see it for, at first glance, it looks normal. Nothing too different about it. But then you open it up, and pretty much it's like a combination of all the comics, all the covers we've seen before. It has the flip open jacket, then it has the shiny, the silvery shine to it, that metallic shine sheen. I think it's cool. Yeah, this is um, this is I think I'm not sure it's the first issue, but I know it's um the it's part of the second part of of Nightfall. Um, the second part isn't a great, but this is pretty much, it's after, um, after Bane defeated Batman, so Bruce Wayne needs, uh, someone to fill his place while he heals. Um, so it's not Bruce Wayne who's in the Batman suit, it's actually Azrael. Um, I think that's how you say his name, I forgot. He was, he was pretty much like a, a, a vigilante character in the Batman universe. But... Yeah, this is the the second part of that fall is not great, but the first one is phenomenal. It's kind of what um, uh, of what the Dark Knight Rises is kind of based on. So next we have some more DC. So like the previous ones, this is also has a uh, jacket on it.
So this is kind of cool. I like this. I wasn't a fan of this series. I like Nightwing, but as soon as he went into the New 52, when they did all that, they changed everything. I I liked the old Nightwing before that, but this one is not. I I wasn't a fan of it. I really wasn't a fan of anything in the in the New 52. But this cover was cool. So pretty much this is what the the Joker in the New 52 looked like. And you know this is turn over it's Joker face and it's the it's Nightwing. So yeah, it's a cool cover. Um, the story wasn't that great from what I remember. It's been a long time since I read it, but yeah. So so the next comic book we have is Bloodshot. So this is a series that I never read. I don't really know much about it either, but. Obviously, I have the first issue. Um, I think I got this out of the 25 cent bin. But, so anyways, the cool thing about this cover, it's pretty much the entire front thing is a, is an entire sheet of a reflective foil. Uh, it has the metallic sheen to it, like the previous ones. But this is, in the, the entire image is just the whole, um, the, the whole metallic sheen gives it that reflective glare so yeah i think this i thought it was pretty cool um yeah like i said I, I don't know much about this but i know a movie recently came out about bloodshot starring vin diesel i never saw it but from what i read and seen it i don't think it's that good but then again i don't know much about bloodshot and i'm not a big fan of it so but yeah so the next one is one of my favorites so this is um, the Sandman. This is the first issue of of the of the Overture story arc, which is the final one. But yeah, I got this. This is actually a uh, a Comic Con variant. Uh, it, it, it's an it, it exclusive variant. I think I got this from C2E2. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much this. This is my favorite um, of all the unique covers that I have. So pretty much, you probably can't see it, but when you put it to the camera, I forgot what the name for this is, but you know, when you move it at the right angle, it gives it like a, it gives it a 3D effect. Yeah, you can kind of see it, like the clouds look 3D and Sandman himself looks like he's popping out. So, oh, in the back does that too, actually. <laughs> Has to add for the, for Arkham Origins. But it's not you can't see it that well on this image, but it does have a 3D effect. But yeah, like I said, this is an exclusive variant. Um, yeah, this is one of the ones that I like a lot. So the last cover that I have is so there's a whole story behind this one because you know there's nothing special about it. It's just you know it's just paper, it's just artwork. There's nothing physical. There's nothing crazy about it. But there's something unique about this cover that get, it's why I put it in this episode. So, like I said, you know, there's no gimmick to it. There's no, there's nothing physical. But then when you turn it around, it has entirely <laughs> a second cover for the same issue. And you're kind of wondering why is that? You know, so you can either start it from you can either start it from here. Or from here, it doesn't matter how you read it. And I remember I read this a few years back, but this was a really good series. It's pretty much about time travel, and and and, and, and different universes stuff like that. I forgot exactly what it was about, but I know it was, I liked it a lot. So, but I'll give you, I'll show you why it's that way. So we're gonna start from this way, you know. I'll try not to like, sh I don't think it gives away spoilers, but yeah, so anyways, it goes that, you know, you're reading through it, you know, you're going through it, then you go to this page, and you realize, whoa, what's going on? So, <laughs> you gotta turn it around, and you gotta start in reverse. Yeah, then 
Yeah, I always like this cover. I mean, it's it kind of is a gimmick combo cover because, you know, you want to read it this way or this way. So, yeah, I always thought that was cool. Yeah, this is a really good story. So I, I recommend it if um if you never read it or if you know some. But yeah, so. Yep, so these were some unique and gimmick combo covers from my collection that I wanted to show you guys. So, yeah, so if you like it, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. But, so yeah, until next time, take care and have fun.